Hello and welcome everyone. Hope you're all fine. Today I'm filming my top 5 frangipani fragrances. Niche and designer perfumes featuring that note of frangipani. Frangipani is a tropical floral fruity note with slightly citrus nuances. And without further ado, let's start with my most favorite frangipani fragrance and that's of course none other than Cassili by Parfum de Mali. And this is a jammy, sweet, sour, creamy peach fragrance. There is no peach in it, but it does smell like that peach dessert or that peach bellini cocktail. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's one of my most worn fragrances. I love, love, love it more than Delina, I have to say. Yes, wonderful fragrance with the top note of red currant, floral notes and Bulgarian rose. And in the mid there is of course French penny, plum, Italian mimosa. And in the base there is vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood. Cassili opens a little bit sharp with that sour red currant but way milder than the Lina sharpness and also the sweetness is there with this first spray. The rose and the florals shine bright and modern. To me it doesn't feel like a classy rose fragrance. There's more that fruity floral heart with that tropical touch from that frangipani note. The plum is fresh and sweet and juicy, not a dried plum. And uh, Italia has a fresh floral scent of peony, lily of the valley, rose, that fruity undertone. It's very fresh, slight and diffusive. A bunch of vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood create that sweet and creamy base with that hint of powder. I love the brightness and the happy feeling of this fragrance. It's creamy, it's delicious, like that peach dessert or Bellini cocktail, as I already said. Yes, it's like a sweet, sparkling cocktail. It's happy, it's pleasant, delightful, but also elegant and luxurious. And it's very feminine. Cassili is on the one hand exclusive and intense, like a special occasion fragrance. And on the other hand, really uncomplicated and uh, easy reach, at least for me. As I said, it's one of my most worn fragrances. Could be a perfect signature scent, in my opinion. Yes, it's long lasting, about eight hours with a strong sillage. Really great pick as a French Japani fragrance, Cassili by Parfums de Mali. My next pick is from a well known brand or line. It's the Dolce & Gabbana light blue range and this is the version light blue sun. Um, the version of 2019 and this one is the most summery version in the light blue range. So this has the notes of coconut nectar, lemon, ozonic notes, graniness, apple as all the light blue fragrances and in the mid there is frangy penny, jasmine and white rose. In the base is created with bourbon vanilla, white musk, cedar and ambergris. And I'm so happy that I have found this fragrance because I have problems um, to smell the fragrances of that line. And this one is really a great projector and it lasts a bit more than the others. I'm a bit nose blind to this range, but this is really great. Yes, it's so summery, it shines. This is also a happy, pleasant fragrance. And yes, it's less citrusy and less uh, green apple as the original. To me, it smells more like orange. It is warm and sparkling also in the opening. And then you get that lovely frangy penny, a hint of jasmine. The uh, sun has a musky base, um, slightly powdery. You get the cedar and it's not too vanillic in my opinion, what I really appreciate. 
It's a beautiful easy reach for summer, perhaps for a summer evening, also during the day. Um, with moderate projection, moderate lasting power, but this one is really great for this line. Yes, wonderful summer fragrance, light blue, Sun by Dolce and Gabbana. My next French Japani fragrance is a quite hyped up in the perfume community. And this is Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. Um, I have added this fragrance um, recently to my collection and I have fallen in love with it immediately. This was a blind buy and I love it so much. So there is of course mango in the top, orange, violet, in the mid there is Frenchy Penny, mango blossom and ylang ylang. The base is created with black currant, musk, red wine and civet. So don't be afraid, civet is not too overpowering. Um, I can't really detect it very well in this fragrance. This is a pleasant, easygoing, fruity fragrance. It feels so luxurious and bougie. I'm really happy to add this to my collection. So mango, of course, is the most prominent note in the opening. Um, and French Japani is the star of all floral notes in here. And you get that lovely um, combination of that Kia Royale cocktail note. So the black currant in here is not the typical fruity black currant note. It's more this Kia Royale cocktail black currant note. And it's in combination with that red wine. So it's a really gorgeous, delicious combination of that note with mango of that fruity or yes i would say it's it's juicy sweet juicy fruity and fresh this mango note and there is this red wine curial cocktail in the base with this florals in here the french penny the ylang ylang so this tropical floral notes in here so really wonderful a heavenly fruity floral um, perfume. So after a few hours you get an adorable smooth dry down to die for, to die for. So people concerned about lasting power. Yes, it's not that heavy evening scent. So I have worn it to a birthday party and I had to reapply it because I couldn't smell it after a few hours. But on other days I'm wearing it and I spray it all over, spray it on my clothes and my clothes. I couldn't smell after two days on my clothes. So I don't know. It's not really weak. It's not a beast mode, but it's really okay. And you have that nice sand bubble around you. So the lasting power would say about five hours. This scent bubble, you can smell yourself, you smell this mango and this gorgeous smooth dry down and you have that moderate sillage, that scent bubble around you. It's okay, it's really okay. I can't complain about it. So this is Mango Skin by Wilhelm Perfumery. And the next one I have in my collection for a few years and this is by the house of Narciso. It's Narciso Eau de Parfum Ambay. And this is a warm tropical amber musk fragrance. It's creamy, it's powdery, white and yellow florals, sensual, deep, velvety, gorgeous French Japani fragrance. Oh, this is so good. And this is a beast, <laughs> I have to say. It lasts forever, it projects, you have a wonderful sillage. Beast. Beast mode fragrance for summer. The top notes in here are Frenchy Penny, Ylang Ylang and white flowers. In the mid there is musk, so the traditional Narciso musk and amber. And in the base there is Kashmiran, vanilla and cedar. And you get that really elegant cedar musk creation like in the others um, in the cube bottle. Uh, I love this modern, this modern mix of cedar mask, this elegant and modern feminine Narciso mask. 
there's a lot of amber in here so it's really warm and yes this is it's happy sexy it's playful it's sensual and also elegant and yes you get that really tropical feeling from the frangipani the ylang ylang amber brings the right amount of sweetness and that cedar musk makes it elegant it's creamy powdery and you get a hug from that cashmere gorgeous gorgeous summer fragrance Narciso Eau de Parfum André by Narciso Rodriguez. And last but not least, I have a fragrance which really is tropical vacation in a bottle. And that's 103 Tiare Flower Jasmine Hibiscus by Bon Parfumeur. And the top notes in here are hibiscus, broom, and bergamot. In the mid, there is jasmine, sambac, tiare flower, frangipani, and neroli. And in the base, vanilla, musk, and sand. So this fragrance has the note of sand in the base. And the most prominent notes in here are hibiscus. And um, there's a lot of um, jasmine. There is also this tiare flower, which brings that little bit of sunscreen um, white to the fragrance. Of course, this tropical frangipani, and it's not too sweet. The vanilla and musk is lovely created with that sand note. It's a gorgeous floral musk vanilla, and you get this, yes, this tropical suntan lotion, tiare, frangipani feeling. The bergamot is so light, but you can smell each flower with a musky, lotiony base. So this is really great. And it smells like tropical vacation. <laughs> if you can put tropical vacation in a bottle and spray it on yourself, so you have to use this perfume. It's so wonderful natural you, you smell natural and tanned it's for pool party with friends and more it smells like water and sun yes sunny escape on the beach wonderful wonderful tiare hibiscus and frangipani fragrance 103 tiare flower jasmine hibiscus by bon parfumeur so these are my top five frangipani fragrances. Now I would love to hear from you. Which one is your favorite frangipani fragrance? Tell me in the comments down below. below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. And thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video with my favorite